Hey guys, welcome to the very first Source Engine scripting tutorial, or coding, or whatever you want to call it, tutorial that I'm doing. Hopefully I can do more tutorials on this, and this topic is going to be about Ent Fire. Ent underscore fire is the very basis of uh, spawning an entity. Well, actually no, it's not. I take that back. But Entfire is how you use the entity. It makes it pretty much do what you want with Entfire. But you can't just type Entfire, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. What you have to do is there are certain guidelines you have to follow. So, what we are going to start out with is Entfire. Uh, S E, or my bad exclamation point activator add output and then and then target name se now what this is doing or saying so far is that ent fire or entity firing i mean enter entity fire which pretty much means what i told you before is it's firing an entity or using an entity or running an entity. Uh, I activator or exclamation point activator is pretty much um, hmm. it's yourself and add output is adding an output to it and that output is target name or the target's name and SE for source engine. It, it, this could be anything. It could be LOL whatever. SE now I'm just gonna copy this line because I don't feel like typing that all out. Uh, so Entfire Activator class name or add output class name. Now this is the class's name. It's a here class's name, but we're not gonna do that. So class name se. Oh, and you also need quotation marks around everything or every add output you do and all that. RF after every add output. Um, so class name SE. So what we are going to do next is it, it's the class's name. It's just referring to it pretty much. That's all it means. Um, so next we're going to do ent underscore fire uh, S SE add output and then render effects. 18. Now what this is saying is ent fire, entity fire, se, source engine, which is i activator, add output, adding the output, render effects, which is the key value. Now what a key value is, is something that affects the entity, I guess you could say. And then 18 is the number that we are using. So th this is your very first script. So now I'm going to go over how to save it. Go to Control S or go to File Save. Locate your Steam apps. Go to C or wherever you saved it. Programs 86, Steam, Steam apps, Fang 821 or whatever your username is. Half Life 2 Deathmatch, HL2MP, CFG. Now, I don't know where yours could be saved. Uh, it defaults like this, with only with your username that you're using currently. And then, ignore all this. This is different stuff. These are all different scripts. So, we're going to save this as render FX. I spelled render wrong. I spelled redner. Render FX dot CFG. And make sure this is scroll all the way up to all types. It doesn't matter with this, but it works. So the .cfg, that is the extension on how you run it. So it'd be render effects dot config. Now I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna jump to game and show you what it does. So I'll be right back.
ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ಎಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ಎಸ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್